everyone. Happy Tuesday morning. I'm going on another little adventure, mainly for the food <laughs> and a little surprise treat that you have seen before <laughs> a couple weeks ago. And I'm not going to give away the place yet. It's somewhere I've been quite a few times. Well, in my lifetime, probably more than a few times, but since I've started this channel, uh, I've gone there quite a few times, uh, especially in the last three months or so. Um, so I don't know if that gives it away. It's just a little hint. I found out there's a library in one of the galleries. It's called the Ortiz Mountain Community Library. I'm going to check that out if it's open, and I'm sure it is. Uh, the sleep is not good again. It was starting to get back on track, and then it just messed up again. So, Oh, and I'm bringing two surprise guests on this little outing, and you'll see when you get there, when we, when we get there. Well, so I arrived at the mall because I have to transfer to another, to the free bus, to another bus at 10.30. It's just after 10 o'clock. And as you can see, I, the mall is open. I got here at like 10.01. And, and the mall is open, but the uh, restaurants are not yet. I wanted to get something to drink. I'm going to have to wait a few minutes. I'm going to show you DQ. I love DQ. It's pretty reasonable. I don't usually get ice cream, but unless I take a uh, lactic pill, or not pill, uh, the chewable thing you eat with dairy if you're lactose intolerant. So I got confetti cake, dip cone, mint, Oreo, cookie pieces crumbled and tumbled with cool mint. Marsh Ooh, that looks really good, s'mores. That looks really good. S'mores, marshmallow filled chocolate bars and honey made graham crackers, dipped strawberry, chunks of Giardelli chocolate, and strawberry topping. Just do a little, I mean, not a real walk around, but I guess I could go, well, yeah. Maybe I'll just go on down to the uh, coffee shop and see I mean, I think they're open, so this is a cool store, just things, it's not open yet, but Zoomies is open, I've been in Zoomies before, it's like a skater's place or something, skater shop or something, I mean that skater culture type thing, uh, I like, I've never been in here, but I like Crocs and I like their shoe selection, it's a shoe store. Pivot Sports. This is the Games Arcade. That doesn't open till later. I thought it used to open at not till noon, but no, oh, Whitney Houston. Pivot Sports. You see how much that is. Thirty dollars for that shirt. I don't know that it would fit me, but. Keymaster, Gumball Machine, Sweet Emotions. I've never been in here, but this place has always intrigued me. This Crystal Rose collection. Spencer's. I like. Yeah, yeah, fashion. Never been in there. A lot of places I haven't been. Uh, Boba Tea Company. Yeah, I don't know how much uh, iced nudity. Yeah, maybe I'll get to get this instead of the coffee shop. Okay. Well, I am here with my pretty and pink with a shot of liquid theme, which is like this liquid caffeine at, uh, addition. Like you can put in a shot of the caffeine, or two shots of the caffeine. They're a dollar each, a dollar for each shot. So I only did one. This cost me six dollars and sixty-five cents. This is the kiss size, and then there's a smooch, which is a little more. It's a little more liquid and a little bigger. So I'm going to um, 
cases, I don't think I've had the pretty in paint. I, I really like Boba Tea a lot, so I'm glad it was open this early. And a lot of the stores here haven't opened yet. And I don't know if I mentioned this is a white tea and strawberry. These hold like soda, actually. I don't know. Like in the water, it's like a little bit. It also tastes like a unsweetened tea because it's so sugar free. It's a bit of a shot of caffeine. admit this on camera. The last less than 24 hours I have consumed let's see eight pom pops. Pom pops. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last less than 24 hours. Eight pom pops. I thought this was pretty cool. In this uh, Crystal Rose store. I should be in here sometime, but I don't know. It doesn't look like anything I could afford. Yeah. Ooh, I like Diggish. That painted on there. That's really nice. Beautiful. Flamingo. Okay, here I am. My destination in a different spot in this quaint little town of about 320, well, 321, I think, to be exact, people. Yes, it's a very familiar place to, to us all now. I have been here several times in the last several months, um, and I love it. It's the easiest to get to by bus. It doesn't take too long. We do make a few stops, so it does take about 40 minutes. It's only about 20 miles though from Santa Fe. Um, but this is a new place to me. It's Johnson's in Madrid. Now I heard, or I read online that there is a library in here. Uh, looks like there's also galleries of fine and fiber arts, Southwest artists, paintings, sculpture, photos, drawings, and prints, Don Black Museum, and Diana Johnson wearables and wallables. Hmm. Just to please wear masks. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, I should, because both my parents are sick right now. Um, I don't. I don't have a mask. So I don't know if this means for all these like places inside here or what. I really, let me see on the back of this if it has, oh, yeah, wait a minute, Native American Jewelry, Christmas City Gallery of Books and Other Playthings, Permanent Show Mel, Gallery of Fine and Fiber Arts. Well, <laughs> I don't know, is this open? Take a picture very quickly of this uh, bench and sign that says galleries. It appears this is not open. Oh, man. Yeah, no chance. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have 
many hours. I don't know what time it opens. Let's just come in, we're open. You see a sign on the door in there. Let's see it from here. Let's just come in, we're open. But, I don't know. Soon about uh, the library. Uh, here's part of the building over here. I think it's all in the same little complex. I don't know. This is cool. It, the sign. These two doors. Got some books out here. Not much, but I don't know if they're free or not. <laughs> I don't want to take anything if it's not free. If it's like for, um, I don't know. If you have to check it out. <laughs> this looks like a very small library. We've got the Madrid shirts, Wildland Press, got some art over here. Now that's a good pick right there. Great picture. Okay, I don't know. I was talking to a woman over there who was walking by and she said uh, she doesn't know when, what time place is open, but sometimes a lot of these places are only open thir like on the weekends, Thursday through Sunday. Oh, I came down here on the wrong time, on the wrong day. So we'll see. There is some stuff open, but I don't know. We'll just see. But there is the Ortiz Mountain Community Library. Well, here's a book that I could probably use. Uh, 12 Step Sponsorship. It's in not too good condition. Look at this. Look at the pages. Some of them are even dirty. Like, and they're all hard and crispy. And, but I might take it anyway. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Because it, I could use it because I wanted to know about AA sponsorship. Let's go back to these. Hmm. Interesting. A little classroom. I have a lot of stuff here. Maybe classroom, mass communication law, business planning, and not too much of interest, but let me see what this is. Looks like an art book, but I don't know. Some business type book. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting looking. Use it for collage. It's not in good condition. Buenos Aires. Strengths Finder. These books are not in good condition at all. But maybe that's why they're sitting out. Maybe. Yeah, I can't imagine these are uh, for checking out of a library. So maybe it's just an outdoor thing. I don't know. This doesn't look like a real library. So maybe it's just this stuff here. Dances with Wolves, it says back there. Is that a DVD or something? That movie is... I saw that a long time ago. Well, hmm. Interesting stuff here. Hmm. I guess maybe this is a library. I don't know. What's this? Eh, I like it. Wire. Now, I was talking to a bus driver last week, and he was saying something about you can walk down one of these little paths or something, or side streets, and pick up coal. Like coal from, like, mining or something. This is an old mining town. And, um, but apparently these are a lot of these are private drives resident residential and residents only so I can't just go 
trespassing or anything, so I don't want to do that at all. Um, yeah. it's just a little, I don't know. What's this? Learning something. These are like stuck together. Wow. Learning. This is for kids, I guess. Um, learning. What am I looking at? Looking at these very old damaged books. Let's see here. Well, yeah, this is not. This doesn't appear to be like really a library or anything unless there's another entrance. Oh look, there's some chairs over there. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's not a library anymore. I don't know. Okay, well it's on Facebook. That's a Facebook page, so we'll see. Alright everybody, uh I'm just gonna take a few books here. Obviously, this looks like this reminds me of this abandoned yeah, well, the, the same, it just looks like a state of decay or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Wow. Just, like, not a library anymore? Or what? It's been a gas station in the middle of nowhere, like, near the Texas-New Mexico border. I did a, three years ago, I did a video when I went on a birthday trip there. Yeah. Are these the, the beanbag toss things? These two things right here. Maybe. That, this would be a good... This would be good for my... Uh, my photography... My toy photography thing. You know, this is, looks like a state of decay. I don't know what that is. Over there. Huh. I mean, there's no graffiti on it or anything, but I don't see any. It's a plain orange wall. Looks like some uh, art on these rocks. I'm going to take some pictures of... Oh, there's one over here. I'm going to take some pictures of that. So, it doesn't appear that Mad Thrifty is open. I came in here before with a friend. Um, I did a video. I didn't do a video of this store, but I did a video of... The trip we took down here, it was New Year's Eve day of this past holiday season. <laughs> and it was a really, it's a really cool store. I got a book there, or here. I guess I'm here now, so it's here. Uh, but this stuff appears to be free. I don't know. These, like, newspaper stand type things. There's a crate in there. This is a Stay Snake Sun Smart. Hats and boots, y'all. I don't know. This is hmm, interesting. Okay. Some art. Oh, more books. <laughs> more books. One of these little free pantries. These are really a good idea for people who really need food. I mean, not, not always broke like poor people like me i mean really needy people i mean i can afford to put food in my kitchen most of the time so hmm interesting i guess you can just take this if it's outside and it's uh yeah in the free yeah this is a newspaper from santa fe the Santa Fe Reporter. I have one now for this past week. It goes from Wednesday to Wednesday, or Wednesday to Tuesday. So one will be coming out tomorrow. So, okay. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Mask not what your country can do for you. Mask what you can do for your country. That's kind of funny, actually. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, a little fruit pantry. Uh... Mixed vegetables, tomato sauce, green beans, no, green beans, peas, tomato sauce, and golden corn, some rice, and it's like seeds or something. <laughs> in this store, the Village Green Grocery, I've been in here too, it's a good store. Uh, I got some stuff here. So, 
Last time I was in... Well, no, not last. Last time I was over in this part of, ma part of Madrid. So. Right. We shall see you soon in the next clip. So, there are these cool shops over here. This is the Honeywood Vintage. The sign looks backwards because I'm standing behind it. <laughs> uh, Honeywood Vintage. Oz Designs. It's got all these wind chimes and things over here. This is a cool, th I don't know if it's a sculpture, I guess. <laughs> uh, Jupiter Fine Arts, this is a gallery. Jupiter Gallery. Look inside here. You can kind of see there's a reflection. Jupiter Fine Arts. This is a photography person, studio, Kevin Schaefer Photography. And this, I couldn't believe it. It says it has body piercing. This is the coolest place, Tumbleweeds. And they have, yeah, alter this is a great place. I mean, it's like something I would have gone to back in my teenage years. Alternative clothing, jewelry, and body piercing. Well, I still would do body piercing. My uh, navel. <laughs> That's the only one left place I want to get pierced. I have my ears pierced, and I want to do my navel like I had in college. <laughs> yeah. You got this cool, like, feathery thing there. Hmm. And got a pair of jeans reflection. Yeah. Patches not sewn on them. You can't see like that it's a pair of jeans, but it's hanging in the window. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, I'm gonna go get something to eat. I don't have a lot of time here, like maybe an hour and a half or an hour and forty minutes or something like that. So I'm gonna take maybe a picture or two more and then head on over to Jezebel for something to eat because that definitely is open all this stuff is closed over here so see you soon I'm getting ready to head back um, the bus it should be here oh like five minutes or so or something like that but anyway I wanted to show you I got two aluminum rings. They were two dollars each. The Jezebel Soda Fountain is also like a gallery and gift shop and kind of a boutique -y type place. But um, yeah, I got these aluminum rings, and she said that the aluminum doesn't tarnish, so that's good. It was only two dollars, but they're pretty. I thought spin rings, spin aluminum rings. So. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the bus. It should be here in five minutes or so, maybe ten. And, oh, I got one for my other hand. I got one on each hand. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got one on each hand. So, just wanted to show you. And you know that this should be the last clip of the video. My phone battery is low and I need to save it to call... Ooh, my paper is blowing away. <laughs> I need to save it to call for the... Uh, second bus transfer when I get back to Santa Fe. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for coming along to Madrid. <laughs> I know I come here a lot, so I just wanted to show you something new today. It's it's a little different type video or stuff I did today than usual. I usually go to shops or, well, coffee shops or the general store or whatever, the park, but this time I decided to just explore in depth and really look around. I have yet to find the coal, the free coal that you can take from this quaint old little mining town. All right, everybody. See you real soon.